Welcome to the first major section inside the course. In this particular section, we're going to have a look at people and to explore a number of different areas that will increase our understanding of how we think. So in particular, some of the topics we'll have a look at are around, well, how do we see? How do we read? How do we uh, remember information? How do we make decisions? What types of errors or mistakes do we make? All of these things, they are determined by the, the structure and the operation of our brain. And it really goes without saying that th there are certain types of activities that we find really easy. There are things that are effortless for us. Conversely, there's also other types of activities that we really struggle with. That there are things that our brains find difficult to do. And that's important. Because if we're thinking about this from the point of view of designing software and us as designers, we want to make sure that we create software that will work with the strengths of our brains, things that we find easy to do and we want to structure our software so the user will find it easy to do, whilst avoiding those activities that we may struggle with. And there are types of things that we'll want the software to do the heavy lifting on. So some of the areas we'll explore, you, you can see on the screen. We'll start off actually with um, sort of a bit of a general introduction to things like visual illusions, talking about influence. And that's really just to get across some of the notions that, that there are maybe some aspects of our, our thinking that we're not that familiar with, and we're maybe not cold and logical um, or rational in quite a lot of our thinking. And these are some important aspects then just to understand that how we think it is shaped. It does have positive aspects and it has aspects that we struggle more with. Once we set the scene, we'll have a look then about how do we see, how do we read information. We'll think about how do we remember information? How do we think about that? How do we make decisions? We'll also explore topics around what motivates us, what influences us. And taken together, all of these will help us then get a bit of a better understanding into ourselves and thinking about ourselves as users that have strengths, that also have weaknesses. And as designers then, that gives us um, a bit of a structure, a framework that we can use when we are designing our software. So we'll start off first of all by um, thinking a little bit around some aspects of, of visual illusions.